Today we learn how to create a Pareto chart and do the Pareto analysis. Pareto analysis is based on the classic 80-20 rule. We can say 80% of the output results from 20% of the input or we can also say 80% of defect can be eliminated by 20% of the cause. We'll first learn how to create a Pareto chart. So this is the data that we have for creating a Pareto chart. Here we can see there are different types of defects and the frequency, how many times the defects are occurring. Now the defects, we have just given it as defect one, defect two, defect three, right? I haven't mentioned over here what kind of defects it is. But uh, we can take, for example, as we are living in an online era, so we can take the uh, defect four uh, as to be the loading time. The website takes a lot of time to be loaded. Uh, defect five, the checkout payment. So there can be different types of defects uh, that is involved. So now we shall concentrate more on the frequency of the defects that they are occurring. So let us see what is the highest frequency, which defects has the highest frequency. Here we can see it is defect one. After that, it is defect two, right? So now after looking uh, for the defects, we can see the frequency, how much time the defects is occurring. Okay, so the first step that we should do is we should sort this data. We should first uh, arrange it in the descending order. So we should take the highest frequency first and then the least one. So let us sort out. We'll first select this data, the frequency, then go to home and then sort. In sort, we'll do sort largest to smallest. Expand the selection. Yes. Okay. So now we have sorted the data and we have uh, organized it in a decreasing order from highest to lowest uh, concerned with the frequency of the defects. Now we need to take the cumulative frequency of the frequencies that we have got over here. So let's just type cumulative frequency. Okay. Cumulative frequency. And now how do we take the cumulative frequency is uh, first we'll take 50 as it is. After that, we'll keep on adding uh, the current value with the prior value. So it is equal to and we'll take this present value and we'll add it with the prior value that is 50. Again, we'll do the same the current value plus the prior cumulative frequency that we have obtained. That's 95. Now we can see we have got the cumulative frequency. At the end, whatever number we get is the addition of this frequency. So we can see the total of frequency is 109, which we have got at the end of the cumulative frequency. After taking the cumulative frequency, the next step that we need to do is to take the cumulative frequency percentage. That is equal to 50 divided by the total frequency, which is over here 109. Enter. So, in the similar manner, we'll take all of the percentage for the cumulative frequency. So, equal to 80 divided by 109. And that's how we'll take for all of the cumulative frequency the percentage for all the cumulative frequency. Let's just fix it. C11 because we need to divide all of the cumulative frequencies by the total of the frequency, which is 109. And we'll drag it downwards. Okay. So after doing this, we can just format it and get a percentage, proper percentage over here. So our table is ready to prepare a Pareto chart. 
for creating a Pareto chart, what we need is the defects, then the frequency and the cumulative frequency percentage. We do not need the cumulative frequency. Okay, now this is the proper selection that we have done. Insert column, more column charts, and then we go com for combo, and then we select secondary axis over here. And instead of line, we can select is a line with markers. Okay, so this is the char chart that is required. Okay, we get the chart over here. Now let's do some formatting part in the chart. For the chart title, we can type over here as Pareto chart or Pareto analysis. Okay, Pareto analysis. We can make this bold. We can increase the font size. Okay, after this, okay we'll change the column color so if we go in format data series we'll get solid fill over here in that we can give green color and then to the line we can give some other color like okay blue gray color okay and to the markers also we can give some other color like we'll go in solid fill and then uh, for now, can we just give red color? We can give any color. And if you want to change the markers, the shape of the marker, we can just click on marker, marker options, build in. In that we have a square option over here. So we can select square for now. Okay, and then enter. We can also increase the width, decrease the width between the columns okay so this is perfect and uh, we can also change the background color if we go and do solid fill here we can select any color let's select a decent color we'll select grayish color over here okay and we can also remove these lines if we don't need it so let us just remove these lines i have just selected it and pressed delete okay now if we need labels for these uh, markers over here uh, which is the cumulative frequency percentage what we'll do is we we just selected the select uh, we'll select the cumulative frequency click on this plus sign and then go for data labels in data labels we again have options where to place the value so we can just place it above okay and if we need it to be bold we can also select these and uh, go in home and over here we can make it bold okay so that's how we have uh, completed creating and formatting our pareto chart now we should go further and see about the pareto analysis part how will we analyze things so if we have total 10 defects so these two defects will be the 20 percent of the defects that we have right so that is how defect one and defect two are the 20 percent defects that we have right now if we see the cumulative frequency of the first two defects, they contribute to almost 73% of the problem because of their very high frequency, right? So only because their frequency is very high over here, we can see the frequency. It is like it is reaching almost to 50 and 30. So the, their frequency is very high and that's why they are contributing 73% of the problem or the issue that is faced, right? So if we solve these two defects, we solve 73% of the overall issue. So now can we say that 80% of our problem can be fixed by fixing 20% of the defect? Yes, so the specific ratio isn't that important. 
because it will be a concern like we have got 73 percent and not 80 percent so how will we satisfy the 80 20 rule okay the numbers can go up and down it can uh, you know be mismatched to some extent okay but the main idea is that there are usually only a few inputs that generate most of the outputs a pareto chart helps us to identify these few important inputs that needs to be worked on so that's it so we learned how to create a pareto chart and do the pareto analysis thank you